bank um, with a 3.34% interest rate, so 3.75 interest rate compounded annually. So that means that if you start with $5,000, right, after the first year, you'll gain 3.57%. I like to think of that as uh, a gain of 103.75%. So, because you have your original 5,000 plus 3.75% uh, of that. So, 103.75% is our total gain. To get that as a decimal, we just divide by this by 100 or move our decimal to the left twice. You get 1 for 100% and then 0 0.0375 for 3.75%. So, each year that passes, we multiply by this number, right? You multiply 5,000 by this. The next year, we do it again. So, and the next year, do it again and again. So for t years, right, that's our exponent. We do 5,000 times 1.0375 to the t power. Here, they want to know to the nearest cent what will happen after three years. So, right, we do this by 5,000 times 1.0375. Oops, close parentheses, sorry. So I don't think it matters, but okay. To the third year, yes, three power. Okay, 5,583.86, we round the, the five up to a six. So five, five, eight, three, sorry, look at it again, 0.86. So in general, this is your starting amount, this is your interest in growth or loss or whatever, and T is the time period it takes to compound the interest. Here it's annually, so it's just the number of years.